you know, I was thinking, right? Have you ever been in a situation where you didn't feel good about doing what you were going to do, but you went and did it anyway, right? And then afterwards, it haunted you. It made you feel so, so bad. The regret started bubbling up and you just was so angry at yourself for doing it. Has that ever happened to you? Well, I got another scenario, right? Have you ever said, I'm just gonna try this out? So you tried it out because you knew somebody else that tried it and they liked it. You tried it out and you started doing it and you really didn't like it. But just because the person that did it before you said they liked it so much, you continue to do it because it's almost like you were looking for what they found. So you wanted the same feeling that they had. So you kept doing it and kept doing it and kept doing it and you did it too long and you were so frustrated with yourself because you knew you wasn't supposed to do it. Has that ever happened to you? Where you just went in too long and too far and you just regretted it afterwards, right? Well, how about this? Have you ever allowed peer pressure to get the best of you in which you saw someone, your friends doing something negative and you knew because your moral compass doesn't allow you to do those things. But just because your friends were doing it, you went along and did it anyway. The peer pressure, you succumbed to the peer pressure and you did it anyway. How did you feel afterwards, my friend? Felt like a loser, right? You felt like you defiled yourself, right? Cause you really did. Has that ever happened to you, my friend? Because all those scenarios have happened to me, but never again, you know why? because I understand what I'm about to tell you. You gotta be bold enough to walk away, my friend. You gotta be bold enough to walk away, my friend. Never put anything or anyone over you, so be bold enough to walk away. And here's how, right? Here's how. See, you gotta be bold enough, right? To walk away from anyone or anything that doesn't serve your best interest, my friend. And here's a caution, this is what you always gotta know. You gotta know that people change, right? So just because someone once served your best interest, it doesn't necessarily mean that they still serve your best interest, my friend. And once you see that they don't, you gotta roll out, my friend. Here's three reasons why walking away is important, my friend. Number one, here's the goal. See, the goal is to love you, love yourself more than anything or anyone else, my friend. Absolutely no exceptions, 0% compromise, my friend. That's what I live by, right? And you should too. Number two, this is what I strongly encourage you to do. I strongly encourage you, right? to take a frequent inventory of your life, right? And remove people, places, and things that's not consistent with where you're going, my friend. Forget where you are now. They gotta be consistent. They gotta match where you're going or else you gotta roll out, my friend. And number three, you gotta develop a greatness mindset. A mind bold enough to believe, right? And walking away, removing anyone or anything that doesn't align with your life. I'm not talking about with one aspect of your life. I'm talking about the totality of your life, my friend. Because here's the thing, they either fit or they don't. It's no compromise in my friend, because you can try to force a circle into a square and you can, ah, Force it in there and it'll fit in, right? It'll go in. And you gotta keep adjusting it because it's gonna eventually be, 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 be bent up and ready to pop out. But guess what's gonna eventually happen? I don't care how much you adjust it. I don't care how much you force it in there. It's gonna eventually pop out, my friend. Same with anybody or anything or any place that you try to fit into your life that's not truly in alignment with who you are, that's not truly in alignment with where you're going, that's not truly in your best interest, my friend. This you gotta understand. It's either you or them. 
and you gotta love you more, my friend. You gotta put you on top of everyone and everything or else you're not only disrespecting yourself, you disrespecting God, my friend. You know the, 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 you know all of the, the, the specificity he put into you, all of the magic, all of the perfection he put into designing you with that individual fingerprint, with that thing, with that uniqueness about you that nobody else can match. You know how sophisticated that is? And you just gonna abandon it? You gonna put it down to the bottom? Don't you know that you are created in the image and the likeness of God, my friends? You know what that means? That means you are limitless. You know what that means, my friend? That means that you are the greatest. You know what that means, my friend? That means you can't lose, my friend. So walk around and understand that you were born to be great.